And we are live. Welcome to the After Hours show where we put the politics behind in the back burner for another week. And we get ahead and uh, take the filters off. You know, we kick back a little bit and we just tell it like how it is. Welcome to the uh, the After Hours show there, Tom. How you doing? What's up, Tom? Welcome to everybody that comes in and checks out the After Hours show. So, what? Tom, since you're the only one here, I'm going to go ahead and target you. Oh, never mind. Larkin's here, too. So, for you gentlemen, what are y'all's thoughts on this whole Otani uh, shenanigans? What, I, know I, mean, Tom and, I know Tom was commenting in the podcast some good stuff. Okay. Shenanigans, how you doing? Shenanigans. So, what are our thoughts on this whole show, uh, Otani thing? Are we gonna are we gonna see a Pete Rose 2.0? I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing an Otani signed autograph baseball saying, "Sorry, I bet it on baseball too." <laughs> I know this is so interesting. What's up, Alan? Alan? What's up, Alan? Alan, I saw your post of the next. Bryce Harper, you're looking for. He is what the face Bryce of Harper baseball. does he not have? Alan, this is not Pokemon. Jeez. I think it's fun. I like it. It's fun. I, I kind of see what he does, and it's kind of fun. You like get these cool Bryce Harper. He kind of rotates the Bryce Harpers in and out. Like, yeah. It's like, ooh, I, I, because he, you know, you could always be like, oh, I, I used to own that one, but I own this one now. You know, it's like. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess. You know what I mean? Oh, he found it and bought it tonight. Oh, you found it. Yay. That was quick. Awesome. Hey, Criterium, how you doing? What's well, up, as Bryce of right Bird? now, nothing is really out there in great detail because, you know, the whole, the whole uh, deal with. Oh, we can't give much details due to the uh, fact that we're currently undergoing an investigation right now. So that's the shenanigans that we got. Uh, Larkin, well, you know what? I've, instead of repeating what they're saying, let me just go ahead and throw it up there. His report, his interpreter wouldn't be able to rack up millions of dollars in debt. But that's here's the thing. What here's, I was thinking. here's the thing that that I've learned too, and. Um, I'm going to use personal experience because um, I was stationed in Japan years ago. I'm talking about like 20, 21 years ago. And the culture out there, it's like they take care of their own. You know, they they are the epitome of what friends are, you know. So I'm thinking... Otani knowing possibly that his interpreter was doing a side hustle, if you will. You know, he tried to keep it under wraps as best as he can until it surfaced recently. And now so that Otani doesn't get penalized for the interpreter or any blame associated with what's going on, the interpreter's probably going back to Otani and saying, you know what, I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to go ahead and ruin my name, but I'm going to make sure that you remain untouched. What's up, Huddle? What's up, Huddle? He's And Huddle's making a good point. Yeah, we might not ever know the story. And I, it's just like, who is the brains behind wiring four point five million dollars? That's well, money. here's here's all that I'm gonna need to develop an an idea of how the story panned out. If Otani is still playing for the Dodgers, there was no fault on his part. But if for some reason he is suspended and we don't have a legitimate reason as to why and how long he's gonna be suspended for, and if it's with or without pay. Then we know he done got caught up in some mess. Uh, shenanigans. Just like the regular podcast, man, we're not going to sit here and give you investment advice. That is not our uh, forte. If you are a diehard Otani fan, you do what's best for your collecting habits. But if you're making the collecting aspect into a business, you do what's right for business. 
What's up, Magnus? It was time to sell Otani cards even before the scandal. His prices are outrageous. Yeah, yeah. They a are. lot of truth to that. A lot of truth to that. What's up, Nikki? Spicy bear. What's up? What's up, I Nikki? Mean, yeah, it, it it for the most part it is rhetorical, but you know, it's 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 just a weight game right now. It's a good We're question. See what happens. It's a good question to ask. It's something. Hey, to Orlando. Be Bobby. Uh, how you doing? About. Don't forget to hit that like button for Mr. Fuego, guys. Please. That is a good question. Will this allow the Dodgers to void the contract? Oh, that's a that's a that's a really good question, Mr. Sap. Appreciate you saying that. I mean, I Boss would management. think I would think the Dodgers legal team would try to find uh ways to get out of said uh contract because you know it's basically the Dodgers picked up damaged goods for a lack of better terms, you know, and I'm sure there's another way of actually phrasing it, but in the reality, if this turns out against Otani, the Dodgers have basically made a $700 million mistake. Mr. Prager, should I buy MLB the show or stick with playing? Oh my God. You need to buy the brand new one. And I don't you even need know to get the new one. Yeah. Nick, I started because, playing it yesterday and I already love it. But it's I just love how it they like look at the actual baseball season and infuse that into the game. Yes. Like somebody has a great like game or something like that, that they make them their own card and like they mm -hmm. they they up and and down their their um all of their perks and stuff depending upon how they're playing in real life. It's what I like so about fun. it though is and they started it with 23, but with this one, they actually kicked it up a notch. They picked up season two of the Negro Leagues, and they oh. showed the first the first African-American female who played professional baseball, Tony Stone. Really? Yes. Damn it. It's Do like your research on her. It's your everything research in my power her. not to, to buy – a new game gaming system and buy this game because I know what's going to happen. Like I, I, I will tell you this though. Here's a spoiler for you. At one mm -hmm. point, Hank Aaron was playing second base when he was in the Negro League. Mm -hmm. Tony Stone replaced him. You said female player, right? Female, yes. That's awesome. What's her name? I'm gonna look. I got. I got Tony I got Stone. Stone. What's I'm up, Bacon? How you doing, Adam? Adam, I was talking to Adrian before the podcast kicked off, and I was kind of smearing your name a little bit. But since you're here, I'm going to smear it a little more since you're here. You know, it's, it's, it's out of love. I was telling her because she showed me what you was uh, that you sent to her for uh, the vintage oh, special for PSA. And I was telling her, you know, with Adam's shenanigans, I'm to a point where I'm going to fly to Arkansas, knock on your door, and when as soon as you open it, I'm gonna chop you in your throat. Oh, Adam, Holding all I have those goodies from us. Adam, don't buy this. I don't know if you would, if you, but if, I know you would if you came across it. But I got this for to put in your next care package. There Spencer you go, Strider, the Aqua strikeout. One. I'm pretty sure you were um, collecting like different parallels. That, of brave players. What's up, Hammer? Yeah, Nikki, I'm thinking about doing the same thing too. He's going to talk about streaming games at least once a week on Sundays. Lucky up, Pete, Peter how you and doing? Hammer and Nate, and anybody I missed? Man, thank you guys so much for being here. Hit that like button for Mr. Fuego, please. The story. Wait, Changing in first 20. Yep. That's what I was like. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Well, kind of like what you said, though, Huddle. Now that we got the feds involved, we'll know the truth eventually. But, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, it. I'm not an Otani fanboy by any means. Okay. But, I will say I do hope for the best 
for Otani because, you know, at one point, Tatis was the face of baseball, and through his shenanigans, he's got to work to build his reputation back up. Hopefully, Otani doesn't have to embrace the suck like Tatis is doing right now. What's up, Titus? What's up, Orlando? Orlando, Titus, what's up? But yeah, Adam, I'm. you know what? You need to do a... I don't know if, if a lot of people are, are familiar with it, but you remember that show back in the day, Adrian, MTV Cribs? Mm-hmm. Adam needs to do that with his collection. Yeah. We really need to see what you have in that closet of yours. He's done some videos. If it was an illegal bookie, I doubt they would be able to prove anything. Well, based off a tweet that I read in the podcast, though, Larkin, there was a bookie that was identified that is originally from Shohei's hometown in Japan. So, I mean, again, it's all speculation right now. And, and we just have to play it by ear, really. But then the question lies, and I'm 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 infamous for always thinking worst case scenario. Will this will this be cause for a permanent ban like Pete Rose? And if it doesn't, will this be a an exception to policy that will allow Pete Rose induction into the Hall of Fame? Well, isn't that why they're being like all careful about like saying that he didn't bet on baseball ever. But what I'm saying is, if the investigation shows that Otani did have involvement in illegal oh. gambling. I, I keep forgetting about this part, and this is a huge part. Lockham made a point, allegedly, where some guy claims he was throwing games. That's true, yeah. I, I yeah. did read that in the tweet in the podcast, too. So, yeah, I mean, if MLB, if, if, if uh, Manfred looks past that, what would that say about Pete Rose then exactly there should be no reason and I mean mm -hmm. I got a feeling that this will likely be uh Manfred's last major hoorah with uh MLB because I don't know if everybody's aware but he did announce after the 2024 season he is resigning as MLB commissioner bye you know so I mean <laughs> Hopefully the new commissioner, because I already foresee once a new commissioner has been identified and established, Pete's going to do everything he can to set up a meeting for reconsideration into the Hall of Fame, which he has every right to. I mean, if, yeah. it, if it was me, I would do the same thing. What's up, Kenny? What's up, Floyd? Hey, Kenny. Floyd fan, how you doing? What we got here? Yeah. Kind of weird he's throwing games when he was in the run for MVP and Cy Young for the year. We'll have to give it time. Yeah? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Well, as of right now, Spicy, he is slated to be the Dodgers DH. I, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking how funny throwing games. He was already on the Angels, man. Like, you already yeah. had a good chance of fucking winning if you bet it against the Angels, man. <laughs> What's up there, Jeremy? I do appreciate you popping in. Hey, Jeremy. Kenny, how's it going? <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 crazy. It is. It is. And what is this he's saying? And the bookie is under federal investigation. Otani's under mm -hmm. investigation, too, because there was mm -hmm. word that the money was coming out of his direct account. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but how many times did he give up six, six runs in the game? All it takes is one, Larkin, honestly. I mean, look at the uh, Chicago Black Sox. It's the curse of the Dodgers. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The For Dodgers sure. know how to pick them. <laughs> it, Agreed, yeah, boss man. Too, too. Agreed. It but it's 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 good. It's hu It's good entertainment and humor to poke fun at it. For right now, it's kind of like when we first learned about uh, Wanda Franco. Everybody, everything was all speculation. 
and everybody was talking about, you know, hide your kids, hide your wife, you know, even hide your husbands too. So mm -hmm. we just have to wait to see what happens. Right. Why not? They don't do that, uh, Ron, because it makes sense. You know, mm -hmm. they 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 want to live. They 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 they're experiencing that that FOMO moment. And if you don't know what FOMO was, it's fear of missing out. A billion dollar off season got to be some scandal in there somewhere. Yeah, this is true. I'd hate to see it for Otani, but I would laugh my butt off at the Dodgers. Yeah, I would too. AE Collectibles, how you doing? What's up, AE? Yamamoto, I, I kind of, I want to compare Yamamoto to uh, Masahiro Tanaka. When he first came on to the scene from Japan with the Yankees, the league did not know what to expect. Okay, this kid has a nasty sinker. His slider was insane. But then once pitch, uh, once team started figuring him out and his pitch sequence, where is he at now? You know. And we got the one and only card deal here. What has anyone Frank seen blocked Frank? you? He has my emails blocked, and I have cards to get him. If anyone knows where he is, send the APB. Hmm. Frank up to his shenanigans. shenanigans. Double Allens. Okay, so well, Tani told his dad he didn't know the uh, about the I pay gambling. Now, I'm not going to sit here and call Otani a liar because that's just not morally right for me. But did he tell his dad what he wanted to hear, or was he being, you know, did he only disclose half the story? I'm wondering though, Titus, like living in Japan, knowing their how their culture is, is that like, do they you not lie to your family over there? Or is that like you a don't. thing? Or no, you get exiled from the family quick. Yeah, the money did come out of his account. The ESPN reporter saw the first two wire transfers. Yeah, I don't think there's any disputing that. It's just the story. That, that is goes. true, Orlando. Well, well, again, we'll just have to see how how everything plays out. I mean, again, I hope the best turns out in Otani's favor because, I mean, he is exciting to watch, you know. However, I guess I, the the way I can look at this now, it, it kind of brings his his market in the hobby down to reality because it. Literally, the prices of his cards was going through the roof. I mean, you got folks putting liens on their houses just to pick up a rookie card of his. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that plays out. Heard something today Ooh. that if they find something illegal was done by Otani, remember, he's on a work visa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. What else we got going on here? Ippy. I couldn't remember his name. I couldn't remember if I was saying it right. Ippy. Ippy. This is the name of the translator. And the podcast. I remember the podcast. Couldn't remember. Ippy is an extreme version. One of the worst parts of being a sports athlete. Yeah. I guess. Otani doesn't gamble. Okay. But uh again, you know, as new information about this whole investigation comes up, you know, when I'm at just so y'all know, when I'm at work and it's kind of slow, I'm always looking up news on what's going on with both the hobby and the sport itself. I'll post whatever I find and I deem reputable on the Discord under the sports news. So, I mean, as soon as I get it, you will get it. But I do know for a fact there are times where there's people 
who tend to beat me to the punch. Like uh, I know Larkin, there's been times where he's thrown some stuff. Magnus is another one. So, I mean, as we get the news, it will be publicized. <laughs> Nikki said he gambled his career going to the Dodgers. <laughs> Agreed. How can a bookie give so much credit to a translator? Well, money talks. Mm-hmm. Any language. And you and you're speaking like the ideal collector there, Titus. I mean, hell. We all know the shenanigans that that A Rod had from his playing career ever since he left uh, Texas. He's still my guy, you know. So it's just a matter of time before uh, Bichette gets into some shenanigans. How dare you soil his <laughs> good name? Don't be bringing that, bring that up in here. Also, I was just thinking we're 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 lucky, up. like with uh, Bo Bichette and, and Julio Rodriguez right now. So, yeah, don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. I'm not putting no evil. I'm just call, I'm just calling a spade for a everybody spade. here heard it. <laughs> Betting on baseball is just stupid, anyways. It really is. Yeah, when you lose. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> It really is, you know. I mean, if you're gonna gamble, do it for fun. Mm-hmm. You know, that's where the whole fantasy baseball, football, whatever, you know, there's no incentive behind it besides bragging rights. As a player, we'll always have love for Lenny Dykstra as a person, pretty scummy. You know what? And I'm gonna this is a bold statement. I'm willing to bet this is how Dom feels about Roger Clemens. I'm sure there is a small fraction of a bone in Dom's body that will admit that Clemens is, in fact, a great pitcher. He's just shitty as a human being. Uh, Bacon, I am an A's fan and a Bo Bichette fan. So that's that's what that is about. Yeah, that's the new trend, Bacon. You got your team, but then you got your player who's probably either in another part of the country or in another country within itself. Or if you're an Oakland A's fan, usually your guys usually end up on other teams anyway, so. This is true. Why? Why? This is true. <laughs> but in 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 on a, on, a, on a lighter side of this show, so... Did you get a chance to look at that that PSA video where that young lady was sitting with Nat Turner? I did. So I just put it in our description. I think. Are we talking so about the one? When you was watching it, actually, you know what? Better yet, because before I forget, Market Movers, mm-hmm. they did a video today. Mm-hmm. And I want to post this question to everybody in the chat. Oh my God, that's a good question. What would be your go-to for your player, would you much rather go with a Bowman first auto of your player, or would you go with a rookie RPA? And why? I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. I'd rather, I'd prefer a Bowman auto of Julio versus a dynasty auto of Julio any day of the week. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're starting to come in. So we got collect big, big on collectors cards with Bowman. Allen wants to be a rebel and go rookie RPA and card deal with Bowman Orlando with Bowman. So Allen, I'm going to throw you under the bus. Why a rookie RPA? Shenanigans are the same too. He's not a Bowman guy, so he'd uh, rookie RPA all day. Bowman, John, Big John said it right there. Bowman just holds more weight historically. It really does. Uh-huh. You know, now 
when I was watching this video from sports card investor Teapot, uh, he was he used Dynasty as his prime example versus the Bowman, and he was saying that the the value that Dynasty holds number one, they're beautiful cards. You know, we've heard Adrian every time Dynasty is mentioned, the first thing that comes out of Adrian's mouth is. I love Dynasty, beautiful design, so on and so forth. And I agree with her, okay, wholeheartedly. But my thing is the reason why, in my opinion, Dynasty holds the value that it does is because it's going in expensive already. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, I mean, last year, Dynasty was going for about five, $600 for one card. Now, when 23 comes out, we're we're adding another zero to that price tag already, you know, I, and the product is not even improving. I just had a funny thought. Like, I wonder if they've got a ton of RPAs sitting up at the shop right now. <laughs> He's just doing the old pump and dump, doing that video. <laughs> and I'm not taking that away, Alan. Uh, a, a player's autograph with a piece of their uniform, great. I love it, but. Uh -huh. Again, the I and this is just my opinion for me as a collector. Okay, like I wasn't always into Julio Rodriguez when he was in the minors. I actually got really heavy on him when 22 update came out. Okay. Once that came out and I started picking up, I started getting into breaks and I started pulling a lot of his stuff. It was only right to pick up his stuff from before he got the call. So I went out and got the Bowman first. Non-auto, I got the regular Bowman Chrome. I got the paper, you know. I would love to have the auto, but it's only right that you get his first Bowman, especially autograph. I mean, though, to me, that's like, that's the foundation of a player collection. RPAs, I mean, they come a dime a dozen because we know you'll find them in, in flagship. You'll find them in all these other crazy uh, uh, sets. So I don't. Do you it's, find it's, RPAs in flagship? I mean, I, I, you, I guess if you do their sticker, like, yeah, I, I don't know. I know what you're saying. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, there there are definitely more RPAs than they're going to be. There's only going to be one Bowman, uh, you know, auto. Uh, I love that I, I work. I now work where Julio got his first tops 206. Is T206? Yeah. Bowman, Bowman first. first don't make sense to me. They seem gimmicky. They're in an MLB uniform, yet they haven't even taken a step in the MLB yet. They're sitting in the minors, sometimes even in high school. That's a well, good point. Make... But I guess for the purposes of making the, the, the Bowman says, they do throw them in the uniform to show what team they're actually going to be uh, playing for, I guess. I mean, that's the only logical thinking I could come up with. Harper's rookies are uniquely short printed. Hmm. Airbrushed. Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking, I mean, I guess maybe time of, but like afterwards, like that Bowman first seem like once they get on their team, they're established and they, they're in that, especially if they're in the uniform of the team that drafted them. Right. That's, that's cool. I mean, because the way I see it, there's there's a variety of RPAs based off the sets. There's only one Bowman first, and it's either going to be a paper or it's going to be a chrome. Bobby's Bobby Witts is horrendous. Bobby's is horrendous. I remember it. I thought his was pretty cool, but I'm going to double What's check. What's up, Dom? Arizona Complex League uniforms. Example, the Bobby first is horrendous. 
Well, no, uh, no, I, I, I think I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that one, Lucky Pete, because I do how I do like the 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 picture that they use for Bobby first. Yeah, I like that picture. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the auto it it goes well with it. Speaking of the devil, here's Dom. There goes Dom. Yeah, a lot of the airbrush ones look funny. If it's a bad job, yeah, it's definitely yeah. going to be ugly. If anyone sees Teapot at the National, be easy on him. He's always has a headache, probably COVID, often seen with hands on head and YouTube thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, Arnie. But I'm starting to make it my, my, my mission. Every time he posts a video... On Saturdays, or even when he's filling in for Jeff, I got to throw my two cents in. Every single video. Yes. <laughs> Devil, my name ain't Deer Turd. <laughs> uh, Lou Bob has a nice looking Yeah, he bonus. does. The yeah, one that I do like, and I, I am going to sound biased, I love... Both versions of Jason Dominguez first Bowman. His his, where his he's is standing nice too. and where he's kneeling. Yeah. You can't go wrong with nice. those. Oh, that's awesome, Tom. The Lou Bob SP first is awesome. Yeah. I mean, everybody's got their own niche. Jordan's first Bowman looks nice. Yeah, there's a lot of them that do look nice. Like, one that does not look nice, and it's nothing against him. Okay? I don't like Jeremy Pena's first Bowman. He looks like he has Down syndrome. Ooh, I have to look it up. That's just my opinion. What about in-person auto on a first Bowman? If I'm I mean, the they're one just as it, good. If I'm the one getting it in person for my own for my collection, hell to the yeah. I mean, hell, I would love to go take a first Bowman of J Rod and go take it to a a, a spring training game. Hey, Mera, you sign. <laughs> So that's just me. Oh. I had to look up the Jeremy Pena's because I couldn't remember it. But, yeah, you don't like that one. Yeah, it's, eh, yeah. Not yeah, it, he looks like he got Down syndrome. Uh -huh. And Boba doesn't look that the best either. Coincidentally, today is World Down Syndrome Day. Is it? It is. Oh. Just like the Bobby Cara Nalga. <laughs> that looks better than Jeremy Pena. Yeah. Got cards from Arnie. Heavy ass box. That's another thing. I got to send Arnie back his box of uh, Julio's that he sent me. Valid point there, Huddle. But again... Julio's Julio Rodriguez first looks pretty, you know, he's just batting just clean. Yeah, clean shot. I like that. Yeah. I mean, he don't look like that now. You know, he got he got he kind of got yeah. he grew the 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 porn stash a little bit. <laughs> if you haven't gone to like Doug and Andy's stream yet, go now. We are trying to get them to 100 likes. Um okay. Jeremy drop a link. link. That, yeah. Link that in the uh, chat here. Beast of the East, Tuttle Mania. What's my up, brother? Man, hey, Beast got a Raz going on for a 23 Luminaries Acuna Jr. Auto Relic numbered to 10. 10 bucks a spot, and you can buy as many as you want. And then he dropped his uh, PayPal there. So go check it out.
I was a car deal. I was on, uh, and I was talking to Adrian about it before the, uh, we kicked off the after hour show. I was in KC Car Connections, um, little live stream with his uh, cute little um, Bobby show. And uh, I'm about to blow that show out the water to be continued. <laughs> Just saying. And a bonus chipper he threw in as well. Wait, what? What I missed? Ooh. Oh yeah, in that Raz, John is throwing a, a a chipper Jones in there also. They also get a chipper four of ten jersey fusion. Okay. Oh, I remember seeing. Okay, I remember seeing those now. Awesome! Con congratulations, congratulations, shenanigans! Congratulations. Is shenanigans? Is your first name Shane or Shannon? I think it's Shane. Them fighting words. They fighting words, Pete. But you know what though? It's basically good old fun hobby competition. That's all it is. Who's got the more? Who who who's got more of a stockpile of cardboard? Yeah. I get it's making me feel like I need to get my bows out just because I want to show off my bows, not because yeah. I feel like either one of you come even close to my my collection. <laughs> well, that's the thing, Pete. I might just end up I'm gonna end up doing it as a live stream because if I did it as a video, the video is gonna be three hours long. Oh, it is Shannon. Okay, I thought so. Shannon. I thought I sent you a package before. Stack of cardboard. <laughs> what I want to say I My don't want to say I hope we all get Down Syndrome For National Down Syndrome Day <laughs> Wow thanks Tom <laughs> Hey The shoe fits wear it That's just how I look at it <laughs> <laughs> Wait that doesn't make sense We don't want Down Syndrome <laughs> Look who just caught up <laughs> Hey, y'all, I have a plug. Five days until baseball, and I only have three or four peeps in my RBI contest. Nikki, are you not in the car community Discord? Why don't you post it on there and get, get, get it out there? Yeah. He actually dropped the link, so make sure y'all go check that out. But uh okay, so I gotta look to see where you put it at. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and pin your comment up top there, Nikki. But um yeah, so people I'm uh I don't know what's going on with this whole grading procedure with uh PSA. <laughs> it's 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 like it's not you know what, it's not even a hit or miss. It's like, yeah. let me go ahead and grab a regular base card, chew on it a little bit, send it for submission, and hope at the very least I'll get like a six, which is bare minimum for an ultra modern. And I get, and I wouldn't be surprised if it comes back a nine. What we got here? Did y'all see the report? I was that just reading that. Opening the parking lots until two hours before games to prevent cell issues. I think that's going to cause some issues for uh, both parties there, boss, man. I don't know. Because, I mean. I feel like they BP, never. Normally, BP is what? Maybe three, four hours before first pitch. And you know all those kids and all those fans are going to want to try to get there as as uh, early as possible so they can try to get those autographs from the players. I might have to double check, but I don't think they op – I don't think – I think that's normal for Oakland. Okay, so he did drop a link to the article. Okay. I just pulled up uh, Nikki's thing on my channel. I'm going to pull – let's see. How do I get that? Here we go. Here we go. Do the A's have that many fans that they have to worry about that? I was Ooh. gonna say, like, <laughs> yeah, damn. We, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Well, I, I'm gonna chime in there when they did have the reverse, um, like 
for uh, the reverse boycott of it. Yeah. We they did get they did all right. They filled that stadium up pretty good. They're just tired. Like that's they just they needed they need a new stadium. They need new. It's just all been crap. So let's see. Yeah, I would agree. All right, I'm trying to get to that link now. A lot of teams won't let you near the field for BP. The Royals don't. Yeah. Well, I mean, goes to show they don't want to spread. They don't want to spread the caca amongst the fans. Because I know They're... when I I took my daughter to uh, Yankee Stadium and they embraced it, dude. And like for reals though, beasts like for reals, there are five dollar tickets to the A's games. You can get in there for five bucks, no problem. <laughs> Arnie feels for you and the fans. If the Indians ever left, he would. Well, first yeah. off, Arnie, they're no longer the Indians. Let's let's let's. Don't why, let's set why, that straight why right now. There, why get Arnie all? Why? Out? Because that's what I do. I don't know if he's had his Taco Bell yet. I don't. That's know. That's okay. Well, like, while he's getting it, he could think about it. They're Arnie no longer guard. They're no longer Indians. They're Guardians. Mm. What's up, Maddie? Um. My brother, like when he was still a Rangers fan, he used to go always go see the Rangers at Oakland. He's like, I love it there. I go, you go in there, get pay whatever tickets you want. They don't give a, they don't care. They'll let you sit wherever you want. Oh, uh, boss man is extending an invite. Come to Modesto. I'll get you near the yes. field for autos. I'm the new PA. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna hit you up, boss man, because I got family in Santa Clara. That's close to Mod uh, Modesto, so I'm gonna make that happen. Well, John, the Nationals, that's not really saying much, to be quite honest. I mean, they they really don't have anybody reputable down there now. Just saying. When I went to the Dodgers game in the 90s, you got we were you were able to go down there actually. Baseball from Dodger Stadium during their BP. There you the go. 90s. And uh, it does say, what does it say on here? Hey, chat, is it just me or did Adrian just tap into her inner picture with the way she gripped that ball? <laughs> it's uh, an, It says American League on it. This is like before they had the two different, the before they had just one baseball. It does Look, just how she's cool. holding it right now, she's getting ready to throw a two-seamer. <laughs> Oh man, but What's yeah, up, Matty Ice. Yeah, Matty hasn't been on that 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 running spree like he's usually is. I was gonna say he probably just got back from a run right now. Yeah, we did see that, and I'm not sure how that's gonna pan out. I forgot to bring that up, and we should have brought talked about that in the podcast. I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna see. I think Vegas is a good place to open a a, a card shop. I mean, Vegas is for de de degenerates all around. No, I got that, but one thing that crosses my mind, and it doesn't, and it doesn't always happen. You know, I do accept being wrong in these instances. You cannot have right, right, right. two roosters in one chicken coop. Oh. I mean, we're talking about two channels that are. Notoriously they're, large in the hobby, but okay? they're on the same team. No, like, I got that. I got that. Yeah. But you know, who's to say one, if not both, is gonna have that off day and spreads that bad vibe in the environment? You that know, could be that could be anywhere, anything. I just know that Hitman, Shy City, and RGL they kind of work together. As far as like out. Luke Titus just dropped. Happy father said that his son has had a gambling problem since he was young, unfortunately. I just watched it. Mm. Now mm. there's no way you could convince me that Shohei was not aware of that. Uh, yeah, I mean 
at one point, uh, I'm going to be nice. JML had his own website for running his breaks, but then I guess him and RGL did a come to Jesus meeting. Now they're collaborating on RGL's website for breaks now. So, but they are spinning the story seven times. No dice. I know. Um, Epi's father saying that to me is just like, what? Like, I don't know. We just live in this world that I like, like, it seems like that would be something that we would want him to say, like, he would ask his father to say that for him to make it seem more believable, but I, you know what I mean? Like, I can't, you, there's no like, let them do, let the FBI and yeah do their investigation and let's, let's see what we got. Because if that was in fact the case, I don't think MLB <clears throat> would have allowed him to be an MLB player's interpreter personal interpreter i i want to know how you don't i want to know how you don't know 4.5 million dollars moves out out your bank account yeah so i mean it's we just need to wait and see yeah i need to wait and see so i need some facts yep we'll just rock it out and 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 as it comes out it will be brought to light and then we can elaborate on it more because I got a feeling we will both Adrian and I will be talking about this later on down the road, especially since baseball kicks off next week. Yes. I know. I can't and wait. I cannot wait. <laughs> I could see if a business manager had access to your account, but your interpreter. Yeah. 4.5 you know. million dollars. You don't well, have some players. They're gonna be like, oh, you don't have some amazing. notification set up on your account or your phone or something. Like, hey, here's transfer four point five. Whoa, I'd be like, whoa. But you have to think about Shogun Tony asked for the FBI to investigate if he was. And, and that's the thing, though, Titus. We're not sitting here saying Otani is guilty of sin. We're not saying that. But what I I will say is if he knew. Of his translators after, <clears throat> excuse me, after our extracurricular activities, that makes him guilty by association. Uh-huh. You know, and that's just as bad as being an accomplice to a murder. You might as well just say you killed him yourself. You know, so, and I'm pretty sure that's how law enforcement and the MLB will probably look at. If in fact it does come to light, <laughs> Arnie is so damn random. Anyone else grilling hot dogs for your team's first away it. game? I'm just looking at the schedule for, on opening day right now, trying to see. Uh, that is correct, Dom. Shohei was embarrassed about his English, so he let his translator open up his bank accounts, etc. From what I read, the FBI was already investigating the bookie. Only ones investigating Otani is MLB. And that's really all it takes. Okay. The first game that I will be able to watch, that we will be able to watch, anybody that can, uh, Brewers... Versus the Mets. It's at 110 Eastern. And then at 305, there's Angels, Orioles, and we got Braves, Phillies. Ooh, that's going to be a good one. Adam hit it right on the head. What? Epi was more than a translator. Was a friend. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. It's true. Those two have a history together, but mm-hmm. you know. I, I'm I'm curious to know where that that loyalty to each other goes from here once it's done. What's up, two bros collectibles? How you doing? Two bros in the house. Arnie, the A's are playing the Guardians on uh opening day. Since two bros is here, hey, for the chat, if you guys are into like wrestling or you know, um, 
basketball or football or anything like that, um, they they have recently just started going live, and they do have a website where you can actually make per. It's kind of like the same deal that 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 Arnie does, you know. So if you're looking to see about trying a, a, a different approach, go ahead and go check them out if 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 you want, you know. I mean, doesn't hurt. Just throwing that out there. What is Titus saying now? He's saying he's waiting to see how it plays out, but I will still be an Otani supporter. I I agree with you, Titus. The more we're talking about this, the more I hope that this like gets resolved quickly and everything's like good. Yeah, like Otani, because it would be a very sad thing for for some reason he he not to be able to play anymore because he's like seriously the greatest player right now. Like, let's just. I mean, it I would beg to differ on the greatest player. He's a well, good player. What? Let's. Can I put him in the top ten? No, definitely. I I put. I take it a step best, further. I put, put him top three. Players. I'll put him top three. Top three. You're awesome. Awesome. You know, A Rod, J Rod, Otani. There, I said it. You don't like it? Fight me. I hate you sometimes. There's a message from Beast for you. <laughs> Adam, did you get my package yet? I got Adam's package today. Yeah. Wow. Let's see. I'm only showing off one. This one. This Don't one just show anyone. Show the one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Hell yeah. Adam with his big boy cards. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just at a quick glimpse, glimpse at it, Adam. I see that that Reggie getting minimum a five, minimum. Because I already see that it's OC. It's gonna get. I think the. I don't know. I haven't seen a whole lot of these in person, but it seems like the the color is really light to me, but I don't know. Yeah, that's another thing. The, yeah. the, the colors don't really pop that much, which is why I'm giving it a minimum of a five. And that's damn good because I know they 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 still go for a pretty penny as a five. But knowing yeah. Adam, ooh, it's not going to go Shannon, anywhere. Uh, Giloff is awesome. Awesome. Very excited about him. Him and Tyler Soderstrom. 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 Hold that steady, please. The card. Hold on. Let me get the big screen out. There you go. How's the centering on the back look, sis? I'm going to give it just a couple more seconds here. Oops. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing blocking it. Okay. And then. I mean, from top to bottom, it looks 60, 40 ish. I think now I don't do freaking crazy with with vintage, but because I just did a bunch of vintage for Adam before, I feel like it's gonna get like a, a two. Uh, and I'm gonna t- tell you why. Like, okay, it's got it's the OCs, the normal stuff. The corner. Yeah. I mean, this card is just. This has been a card that has been collected. It's got little dinghies on the corner. Yo, Doug. The color. Magnus says three, five to a four. Cool. But I don't know shiz when it comes to the how they figure stuff out with the. Uh, I Have say cleaning on it. A three. Creases. Two for the OC. It doesn't have any. Uh, creases on it. What? Say that again. Have you done your screening on it yet? I was uh, told to just send them. Okay. 
Pacapalooza. Oh, crap. That's what... Okay, I was just on... Yeah. I'm behind today. I'm behind. Yeah, I got to do so much cat. I mean, there's time... I, I try to get in on, on, on Doug's videos when he drops them mm -hmm. uh, as quick as I can. But for some reason, I'm always missing those Pacapalooza notifications. What's up, Doug? I was just in your brother's stream for a little get some t watch time in there, and I liked it. I know they're trying to get to 100. It yes, is. that's what I'm saying, uh, Arnie. It's, I was, went through the cards, and I saw that one, and I was just like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Adam has an Ozzy Smith rookie. Oh, I like I those. Bet, I'd bet money on it that he's got one. I bet money on it. It's hard. It's hard for all of you. Like, it's hard to see a card on screen to like the grade just because I'm, I'm holding it. Like, I can see, you know, you, you can see better when you have it in your hand there, and it's like, I don't know, like the corners. I think if you saw everything now, there's absolutely no, there's no like creases or anything in it, but still just the, you know, just the normal, just the normal. Well, since we're stuff. guesstimating uh, grades. Oh, so I just tried to log into PSA and it says the co this collector's universe website is temporarily unavailable for maintenance. Ooh. Uh oh. Nah, they probably do that. They do that every once in a while. They're getting ready it's towards the end of the month. They're getting ready for those for next month's specials too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be crazy. But um so let's can I throw a hypotheticals? Let's throw sure. some hypotheticals out there. We're all about hypotheticals to, to here. All of you that are watching right now, make sure you hit that like button for Mr. Fuego. So let's Hypothetically speaking, say Mr. Nfuego and I, you know, we were hypothetically at 5,000 subscribers, and hypothetically, we were thinking about doing a free break. We want to put a couple of, of hobby boxes in it. What hobby box? And let's be realistic, y'all start dropping. Yeah, I was soon. gonna say, and, put, and all put that, that caveat in there because Beast is in, knowing him. I would Beast. say transcendent luminaries. Maybe I'm gonna get dynasty. I'm, Beast is here. I'm gonna get a whole case of uh Jersey Fusion. <laughs> um, what hobby box is or hobby box? I appreciate that, Arnie. Oh, we oh, do. We love you too, man. Alan said Panini Chronicles, dude. 2019 Panini Chronicles was the shiz. Speaking of speaking of non-licensed stuff, uh, in case you guys haven't got the email, <laughs> Ripping for Rookies is actually doing a break on Monday. Uh, forgot what it was he was breaking. Uh, 2019 Donner's Optic. Another, there you go. Another great Panini set. So you may want to go check that out, too. Okay. Uh, uh, Shannon, Inception. Um, Tops Inception? Bowman Inception. See, there, Santa, you there you go, Beast. Transcendent Dynasty and Luminaries. Only the finest. Only the finest. Now, Jeremy, <laughs> Big League. We, we talked about uh, Big League. We did. 2022 Update Series. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I also are, talked about... Are we... I'm Honestly, I'm 22 Update out. Shut up. We don't see it all. But if we get like a really cool Julio out of it, that was a good set. I got it already, so it don't matter. <laughs> um, if, if we were on my stream right now, I would have muted you. <laughs> okay, so but that's a no, good one. I, I was, mean, update is a good one. Twenty two update is a good one. I was thinking also twenty twenty three tops Chrome update. I was because in the back of my mind is that that Anthony Volpe is still out there. Okay, that's a nice combination. Inception and Museum Collection? MLB Inception. Like Tops Inception? He's probably talking about Tops. And Museum Club? Museum, museum, Club. museum, museum collection. collection. Yeah. Oh, 2022 Platinum Anniversary. That is that is good. That's a good one. Can't yeah. go wrong with that. He's probably got 10,000 Julios from Update. 10,001 for sure. 
I've had to send every single damn one in for grading too. No, not all of them. I sent three of them on my own. <laughs> I need a striker influencer card. <clears throat> yeah, I have two twenty twenty two update black Julios to seventy one. Oh, it's yeah, that's cool. Getting old now. Oh my god. I mean, we can do a 2022 <laughs> logo fractor break. I mean, maybe I get lucky and pull another Julio logo fractor. I don't know. Thanks, John. Forgero. For, for for oh, that's my and cousin. Welcome. Oh, what's up, cuz? That's my cousin. What's up, cuz? I appreciate you uh, popping in. Weird flex. <laughs> Shit, got hey, don't right judge there. me, Shane. Weird flex. Don't judge me. <laughs> That's how I do it over here. But yeah, so I mean, the Chronicles. All right. Okay. Ooh, I got a uh, only lucky P. Well, lucky P. Ooh. What why are you procrastinating and ripping it, man? Ooh. What's going on? Cosmic. Cosmic with I that's that is that's a good one too. Cosmic it is. Ooh, Maddie I is 2013 Pinnacle. Grade worthy has been opening that. It's it, dude. Okay, there's some cool stuff in 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 Pinnacle, right? Um, that makes me think of 2012 Panini Select also because Alan's the one that um from Grade Worthy that had all like he was getting all the um the gold in Fuego cards. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, those are like such beautiful cards. Yeah. I've only I don't have a gold one, but I've got one Ken Griffey Jr. one that I freaking love. Oh, so you already got the 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 Julio PSA 10 already. Oh, okay. Well, glad you could be a member of the club too. I threw the deck is walk is on. Oh, that's freaking awesome, boss man. I'm gonna have to go check that out. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Boss man, you know, <laughs> if we didn't if we haven't said it on on the air yet like i want to thank you again for sending us those amazing cards yeah um, definitely i appreciate that um i mr and fuego's um stadium club uh image variation and the Bo bichette stadium club photographer's proof which i i've the the stadium club um 2023 stadium club Bobachets, I've like because of Arnie here in Card Deal and, and some of the other people, like I've kind of unintentionally have got a good rainbow of that going. Oh, I think KC also. I bought the blue off of him, number to 50. So, anyways, um appreciate Bob, that, thank Pete. You, thank you so much for those two cards and then the extras you gave us, and then he gave us money. <laughs> he gave us 20 bucks to get a card graded. <laughs> so I went in our, that was freaking cool. And uh and then congrats to you on your new endeavor with the MLB, baby. I know. Look at him. He balling now. He's living he up to the name. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm like so thankful, so humbled that he still talks to us. <laughs> so I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's no. what I do best. It is that, that just time. flew by. That, that is it is that by. time. But I will leave it at this. Adrian, you got anything going on coming up? Maybe. Stay tuned, everybody. Okay. Well, as hypothetically. for me, Hypothetically. <laughs> as for me, again, I just dropped a video today opening up two blasters of Series 1. So make sure y'all go check that out. I actually have fun doing that video, too. But um, in the meantime, I will. And I was inspired by a another member here i'm not going to mention casey car connection but i'm going to go ahead and <laughs> do a live stream showing off my julio rodriguez collection and uh just want to do a little flex that's about it you know and then so i'm going to flex my boba Shack collection too yes you flex all 30 of those cards God, I will murder you with my <laughs> bare hands. But <laughs> besides that, I appreciate everybody uh, coming in to hang out with us. Make sure if you missed the podcast, make sure y'all catch it on, on the replay when um, you get an opportunity. 
this time tomorrow, it will definitely be up on your favorite listening uh, format. So uh, make sure y'all go check it out. And with all that being said and done, it's been fun and it's been real. We'll and catch you on the next one. 